super cool. Um, and just like moderation, uh, which is uh, enormously powerful, um, there, are, if you'll recall back a few slides, uh, we mentioned, uh, you know, being able to reject images based on the content. Um, but we also may want to tag an image based on that comment. Uh, so we accomplish that using Cloudinary's AI content analysis add-on, which, um, like Jen said, there are a, a, an enormous amount of add-ons um, that help extend the functionality. So um, this one uses an object detection uh, model and content-aware algorithms to add tags to images. Um, and if those tags um, don't meet certain or don't contain food, for instance, or some variation of food, uh, then we reject the image. Uh, but this example here, you can see that we're actually using code from the repo to tag fashion. So uh, maybe we want to, you know, crop to a certain specific, or I'm sorry, provide tags for a specific item in that image. Um, that's definitely doable. And uh, I think we have some examples for this one too, right, Jen? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and run this um, file so you can see um, what we get here. And this is using the um, Cloudinary's detection model CLD fashion. So there's a lot that's already there for you to use. So let's just say, um, not for a food app, but let's just say that you were interested in um, uh, a fashion use case, which a lot of our customers are. Um, let's head over to content analysis. And this would be um, upload with tags here. So we can see here that we have our detection model, CLD fashion, um, and we have an asset um, called model with bangs. So this is what um, we're going to be uploading here. You can see a few different items that we might want to um, pay attention to. So let's see, um, upload with tags, content analysis, upload with tags. So here's what we're going to get in the response. And I think it's really um, amazing how detailed the analysis gets. Um, let me show you an example once this runs. So um, it looks for a bounding box. Um, it finds a lot of things here. Let's scroll to the top. It also reports the confidence level and you can adjust that as well. But they even have details like neckline geometry, crew neck, round neck. Like they really get detailed here um, with the analysis that you receive in your response. And you can do a lot with these um, these parameters and responses. So um, a lot to look at, more than we have time to do today, but I just wanted to show you just how detailed this gets. Perfect. And just like Jen mentioned, um, you know, we have, or Cloudinary has the ability to recognize certain um, items within uh, within an, uh, an asset and then, like I said, provide those tags, but as also provide cropping based on the response that you just saw in, in, uh, in Jen's code. So. Um, and why might we want to do that? Um, it might be that we want UGC that meets a, uh, an artistic direction requirement that we have, uh, because like Jen mentioned previously, users aren't generally worried about, um, editing assets, uh, to ensure that the, the right content is in the main focus. Uh, and luckily for us, Cloudinary has object aware cropping powered by AI content analysis. So using the gravity transformation, we can target specific objects. Like here, you can see we're targeting the purse or the boot. Um, the coat, uh, and then we can crop based on what those uh, those items that we uh, identified in that asset are. Um, so we can set up automatic crops with borders, and we can round the photos. Um, and this applies heavily to our um, our food uh, delivery application, where we want to make sure that we have focus on the food items, and then we can provide that artistic direction related to those. Um, and again, like Jen mentioned, we have very specific objects that we can uh, we can crop to. And I think there's another example for this one too, right, Jen? Yes, there is. So let's just show this in action really quickly. So here we have the gravity detec detection. And um, let's just say in this case, we are trying to crop to a bag, crop, crop to a coat, purse. Um, so let's run this file and see what we get and open up um, the output here. So um, you guys remember of the model with bangs holding various items and accessories. So let's see what we get here. So here at the bottom, we see um, that we have a gravity coat, gravity purse, gravity boot. I'm going to open up gravity purse here and see and see what we get. So um, gravity purse gives us 
what we're expecting is the focus exactly on the purse. So this could be really helpful when it comes to UGC to be able to use content-aware cropping.